just wants to be beautiful she goes unnoticed she knows no limits she craves attention she praises an image she prays to be sculpted by the sculptor hey guys welcome back to my channel so basically what i'm doing right now is i'm showing you this amazing swiss lace from um, super b wigs and it's a full lace wig and um, it comes with an adjustable strap that's like clip on and i love it y'all so now i'm just taking like an old plastic bowl and then i'm going to use the dyeing brush i'm not sure what the specific name is then I'm going to be taking some BW2 lightning powder and I tend to overuse this stuff just because like I don't know like when I'm digging it in there it's just like so easy to you know put a lot. So I would say probably use like one fourth of that cup because when you're dyeing or bleaching um, frontals or lace fronts it doesn't take a lot at all you know like a little goes a long way. Then I'm going to be using some 50 volume developer. Um, if this is like your first time, I would not recommend um, this strong developer because 50 is real strong. Like 50 is, 50 is strong, bro. So <laughs> I would just say you can start at like 30. That's basic. It's going to take longer for it to process. But, you know, since I've been doing this for a minute, I just use 50 because, you know, I'm impatient. <laughs> So there's no secret or anything, um, well at least if it is a secret, you know, like they left me at the loop with it. I just basically just start, I just go in. So now it is time to rinse all these chemicals off of your lace and um, as you can see I kind of like over bleached some parts but that doesn't matter because when I customize um, the hairline I'm probably going to pluck those parts anyway so it's all good. the shimmer light shampoo it's like a purple shampoo i guess it's for like orange tones or whatever i've seen it um on videos before i even gonna lie to you i don't use this every time but i just wanted to emphasize the effects of using it you know what i mean This to me is literally the best part of the whole process, customizing the hairline. This right here makes or breaks the wig. Like I'm being so serious. Like 
if you got a nice plucked customized you know good lace frontal or whatever then you know <laughs> you feel like a bad bee period <laughs> even tried the Swiss lace but basically what Swiss lace is is that it can blend into any skin type so you know how you have to have like a wig cap or whatever or you have to like put makeup on it so basically it's supposed to like prevent you from doing all that you don't have to do all that it says that you can melt it without having all that you know I'm extra so I did all of that but if you just look at this you cannot even tell that this is a wig